Good morning, everyone. It's Mrs. Carr here. Let me see if I can get this right. This book I have been reading now for over 20 some years, if you can tell. It is almost on its last leg. It is ripped and getting bad, but it has such a good meaning and I like this book a lot. So I'm gonna read this to you today and it's called Bear Your Manners Are Showing. It's an old book. Bear Your Manners Are Showing. And it is written by Kathleen Meyer and illustrated by Creative Studios. Bear was eating a delicious blueberry cookie. He had taken it out of the cookie jar without asking. Goodness gracious, little bear, said his mother. Where have your manners gone? Bear stopped munching. He turned around to look for his manners. I don't see them in back of me, he answered. Manners aren't in back of you, said Mother Bear. They are in your heart. I'll have to do something to help you remember them. So she went to her desk. When she came back, Mother Bear had a purple ink pad and four little stamps. One at a time, she stamped them on a piece of paper. Please. This one says, please. When you want something, you say the magic words, please. This one says, thank you. When someone gives you something, you always say, thank you. This one says, I'm sorry. When you do something that you shouldn't, you say, I'm sorry. And this last one says, excuse me. When someone is in your way, you don't push them. You find the magic words, excuse me. Now let me see your four paws, little bear, mother bear said. Then stamp, 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 stamp. And there were little bear's manners on his four little paws. Now off to school with you, mother bear said, but first she gave him a big bear hug. In nursery school, little bear saw two friends playing with a lovely lump of red clay. I want some of that, he said to them, and he reached over to grab Teddy's piece. No, you can't have it, Teddy yelled. As little bear raised his paw, he saw the magic word stamped on it. Please, please, he said softly. And Teddy put a big lump of red clay in little bear's paw. I think something comes next, little bear said, scratching his head. What were those words? Then he looked at his other paw. There were the two words he needed. Thank you. Thank you, Teddy, he said. His friend smiled. Then Teddy handed an extra piece of red clay to Bear. Mother Bear was right, little Bear said to himself. These really are magic words. After he had finished at the clay table, Bear ran over to the jungle gym. On the way, he bumped into Bill Bear and knocked himself down. Little Bear fell right on top of him. Bill Bear cried and rubbed the bump on his head. Then Little Bear raised his head and saw the stamp printed on the bottom of his paw. I'm sorry, it said. Little Bear knew just what to do. He climbed off of Bill and helped him up. And of course, he said, Bill, I'm sorry. Bill stopped crying and handed his blue car to Little Bear. He had always wanted to play with that car. I'm sorry were magic words, just like please and thank you. Soon it was time for outside play. Little Bear needed to go past two of his friends standing in the doorway. Maybe this was the time for more magic words too. He looked at his other paw. There were the right words he could use. Excuse me, Little Bear said politely, and his two friends moved over as fast as you can say Jack Robinson. The more bear used please and thank you and I'm sorry and excuse me, the easier it was to remember them. After a while, he didn't need to look at his paws anymore. And when the winter rains came and washed the magic words off of his four little paws, little bear wasn't upset one bit, for by this time they were in his heart, just like mother bear had said.
the end. Bye, kids.